right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and always good to see our friends from BR Cone Winery. Even though the Cones don't own it anymore, it's um, part of the Vintner Group now. And let me tell you, um, the wine's still, I mean, very good. Some of them, uh, the Silver Label stuff they're introducing is more along the lines of, you know, what you're going to see mass produced and made for by the glass programs and things. Politically correct wines, um, made for an entry-level consumer. The Silver Label Chardonnay, this is a new entry for them. A little bit of that banana, kind of tropical fruit note to the nose, and um, really light and inoffensive, easy to drink, a good little Chardonnay, and um, like I said, perfect for what it's made for. The Pinot Noir Silver Label, however, a little more difficult to make an entry-level Pinot Noir. This is the first vintage of both of these in the Silver Label. This is a combination of Napa, Sonoma, and Mendocino fruit. They own 365 acres still in uh, in Sonoma, B.R. Cone does in, in Carneros. And this is a 20,000 case production wine, and they're going to probably roll it out even bigger than that once they get the placements in restaurants across the country by the glass. And this wine's got some pretty cherry fruit here, hint of brown spice, and almost like tree bark character, like a woodsy note as well. Simple, pleasant, a hint of that spice from the nose coming on the finish, a good little Pinot Noir. And uh, the North Coast Silver Label Cabernet, very good. That's what these guys are known for, man. B.R. Cohen is a Cabernet producer. Well, they've always made Chardonnay also and other wines. But, you know, my favorite wines from them in the past have been Cab. 60% of the winery production now is in this Silver Label Cab. Some Olive Hill fruit, their most famous Cabernet vineyard. Some of that does go into here. This wine has a little of that black olive top and on the nose. Some dark, damp black earth. And uh, thick and juicy Cabernet on the palate, though. Some nice tobacco and dark spice, dark plum and cherry fruit. A very good good little entry-level Cabernet. All right, the Cabernet Sauvignon Gold label. We got silver, we got gold, but we don't got any Olive Hill, which is their top wine. So a little bit disappointing. And uh, the Gold label Cabernet also just a tiny step up from the silver label. This one's 77% Cabernet. And uh, it's got a good amount of a black peppery kind of spice to it. Some tobacco, current cassisberry fruit, thick and chewy on the tongue, some ripe round tannins. And these 2013 wines uh, need a little bit of time. They're very well built and they're going to last for a while. Even the entry level stuff like the silver label and gold label Cabernets from B.R. Cohen. Very good juice. That's what we had to drink with our friends from B.R. Cohen. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.